Hi everyone, it's Pavel Jovnev, the founder of Flipper Zero, and today we're gonna look at the latest sample of Flipper Zero. This is the final design verification sample, and it looks almost like the final product. Your devices will look the same. Please ignore the scratches on the protective glass here. It's a CNC made prototype and it looks kind of dirty. But the final product will not have this issue. Let's compare it with the very first sample that you saw on a Kickstarter video. First of all, you can see that new one is slightly bigger. That's because now Flipper is composed of four PCBs. This is the main PCB. We moved RFID and NFC to the separate board here. The dual band antenna for 125 kHz and 13 MHz was moved to its own PCB here. And the button headers, infrared and speaker are placed on this small board here. Next an SD card appeared. We can easily insert it. Check out the icon when it's file system mounted and it disappears when unmounted and again appears. SD card slot doesn't stick out, which allows you to comfortably carry the device in your pocket. We've done our best to find the right holder and extra spacer to keep card from falling into the case. You can see that new flipper has more GPIO and holes have become bigger, making it easier to stick models inside. But the GPIO port is still keeps module tight. I need to apply a lot of force to pull them out. The infrared port was moved from here to this side to avoid blocking it by module. And now you can hold device like this, it's much handy. The infrared port itself has become much bigger. That's because of three infrared LED instead of one to increase transmission power. Also the main D-pad has become larger and now the central button does not stick out about the surface to avoid accidental click when you put device screen down. You ask it how strong the hand strap hole. There is nothing to worry about because it's additionally reinforced with plastic insertion. This is how Flipper Zero looks now. And let's check one feature for the Z. Go to the NFC section and choose Detect. Flipper now polling for the high frequency card. Taking the iPhone, it tries to activate the Apple Pay when see high frequency field. Authorize it with the Face ID. And now we see how Flipper successfully read the NFC A tag. And you can see that UID is constantly changing. It's probably made to prevent using Apple Pay for the access control token. That's all. Stay tuned and keep an eye on your inbox, because soon we'll send a very important email to our bakers. It will have a link to the pledge manager, where you can select the flipper color, specify your shipping address and much more. Bye.